Thanks for watching Road Test Buddy. This is route number four at the Niagara Falls Temporary Test Center. I hope this helps you to prepare yourself for your road test. For this route, we're going to be pulling to the entrance and we're going to be making a right turn. Now we are ready. So let's drive to the main road when safe. So you set your car ready. All right, so we are ready now. We do observations, complete observations. It's safe, observe, turn your neck to the back, all the way to the back and observe. When safe, you begin moving. Scan carefully. This person is going on the road, so we let them pass. Let them pass. Let the person go. Good. That person has an examiner in the car, so we want to make sure we don't affect them as they are taking their road test. Okay, we're gonna make a right turn. Let's make a right turn safe. Scan for pedestrians as you stop before this crosswalk. There is no pedestrian. We we'll creep forward and we check the entrance and the road carefully to make sure it is good. The gap is good, so we proceed to make a right turn into the immediate lane on the right. The speed limit here is 50, so with a good sound of your acceleration, you want to make sure you pick your speed up smoothly. Chain lane to the left when safe. Signal, blind spot check without turning the wheels. Now when safe, you creep into the lane nicely. Please take a left turn here when safe. There is a vehicle coming straight and it's closer. You must also scan to your left. The vehicle, the black one has a stop sign so he's got no right of way. Whilst we are just waiting for traffic to clear. Traffic has cleared, so we made our left turn. And then we are currently on Alice, which is a res residence, so a residential roads, 40 kilometers max. And then we come to this intersection where we have Alice and Frontenac. It has no stop sign, but since we are the ones connecting, we have an obligation to check carefully when safe. Let's make a left turn. Two vehicles have done a double parking. You could drop your speed down a little bit to allow you to pass through. Scan to your right since there is a street on the right hand side. There's the road continues in a sharp curve. Drop your speed, not too wide and not too fast and not too slow as well. And then we make a left turn here at Cardam Street. This is Cardam, the street name is right here. Not too fast and not too slow. There is a hidden street on the right called Brunt Avenue. Brunt Avenue, you want to make sure you don't drop your speed and you scan carefully into Brunt Avenue since it is an uncontrolled intersection. Speed limit is 40, check your speed and also make sure you check your mirrors as you drive. We are connected to Drummond Road. Let's take a left turn. There is a line on the floor. That is your stopping position. Stop right behind the line, complete stop. Scan to your right, no pedestrian. Scan to the left, no pedestrian. There is a pedestrian coming now on a bike now. We just saw this biker, so we stopped to let him pass. After that, we creep forward. Don't turn your wheels as you're creeping forward to uh, make a left turn. Creep forward to make sure you can see the intersection properly. Now that we've creeped forward, we are waiting to make sure it's clear. There is a bit of traffic on the left-hand side. We check to our right-hand side. The right hand side also has a bit of traffic. But we had a good gap, so we took it and we made a good left turn. Remember, when you're turning, don't be in a rush to join the main road. Make sure it's just a good gap to turn without impeding traffic. Please take a right turn at the traffic intersection. Now, if we may have seen in the other videos that we normally make a left turn at the light to go to the test center, or we went straight through the traffic light on route number three. For route number four, we are making a right turn at this 
particular intersection where we have the two gas stations. All right, Pioneer. So remember, one of three options, you're either gonna make a left, you're gonna go straight, or you're gonna make a right. Now we are making a right. This green is our right of way. We still scan carefully. And then when safe with no pedestrian crossing, we proceed to turn. And when you turn, there are two lanes, turn into the immediate right lane, not the far left. It will be a major violation if you go into the far left lane. The speed limit here is 50 kilometers. We are on McLeod Road. Chain lane to the left when safe. For this lane, check your blind spot. Make sure there is no vehicle and don't impede traffic by stepping on your brake unnecessarily. And then when the gap is good, you can make your lane change. That was a good gap. Good. Now that we've made a turn, we're going to be going off McLeod to the hidden street in the neighborhood. Take a left turn here. Now, the landmark you can use to remember this street I'm turning on is the apartment building on the right with the rail and the fence. The street we are also about to turn into is called Wilson Crescent. We are currently on McLeod. Now, also remember that McLeod has two lanes coming straight. Both of them have the right of way. Whilst the person coming from Wilson has a stop sign right there. So if you see a vehicle from there, it's pretty much like you're going into Alice. He has no right of way. The people with the right of way are here. So we're waiting for a good gap. When we get a good gap, we'll make the left turn. Now, what is a good gap? It simply means you are not impeding traffic in either lanes coming in front of us. And then you want to make sure it's really clear before you go. This car is making a right turn, but the other lane has a vehicle coming straight. So it's not safe. There is another vehicle coming. It's also a white car. So if one person is making a right in front of you and you can't see the other side, do not be in a rush. You wanna make sure you have very good vision when you are making the left turn, okay? Good. And make sure you don't turn before the vehicle pass. Allow the vehicles to be almost gone before you make your turn so that you are not rushing the vehicle when you are making your turn. We are officially on Wilson Crescent. Let's take a left turn here to go into Wendy. We are about to go into Wendy Drive. Wendy Drive has a stop sign, but Wilson Crescent has no stop sign, so we have the right of way to turn if there is no oncoming vehicle. Now that we've made our turn, you could do a couple of things here. So let's pull over when safe. Blind spot check, drop your speed, create a decent gap away from the curb one foot, and then let's demonstrate an uphill parking with a curb. Uphill parking with a curb. Up your parking with the curb, signal all the way, uh, turn your steering all the way to the left hand side, and then you can park your vehicle. Very good. All right, so we just completed an up your parking with the curb. The wheels go all the way to the left hand side. Remember, that is the only one that goes to the left. All other ones that are not up your parking with the curb go to the right hand side. Be sure to practice more of this before taking your test. All right, so let's recap. We came out from the test center and then we made a right turn to John McLeod. Then we were told to do a lane change. We did that, the lane change to the left, and then we entered into Alice Avenue. From Alice, we connected to Frontenac, and then we ended up using that neighborhood right there to connect to Drummond Road, where we made a left turn. It was a little bit tricky when we were making the left turn from Cardam Street to connect to uh, Drummond. It was pretty busy. But remember, it's not about how busy it is. It is about whether it was a safe gap to make a turn. You also want to make sure your observations are really good when you're connecting to Drummond Road. When we connected to Drummond Road by making a left turn from Cardam, we ended up at a traffic intersection where we have Drummond and McLeod with the two gas stations, this time around making a right turn. In my other videos, you may have noticed we either made a left turn there or we went straight through it, through the traffic intersection. This time around for route number four, we did make a right turn. When it's green, it's your right of way. Be sure to scan pedestrians who may be crossing on your right-hand side. If it is red, be sure to stop completely behind the line without rolling. Check for pedestrians right in front of your vehicle. If there is none, you can creep forward. Scan carefully when safe. You can proceed to make a right into the immediate right lane. Be sure to practice many of these maneuvers at traffic intersections to help you be more comfortable. Now, when we made a right turn, we went into the immediate right on McLeod from the Drummond traffic in the session. And then what did we do? We were asked to do a lane change. So we did a safe lane change to the left-hand side. 
without impeding traffic. And we also checked our blind spot. And then from there, we had to make a left turn to go into Wilson Crescent, where we had a brown apartment on the right hand side as a landmark. It is possible you may even get to turn into a street that comes just before Wilson Crescent called Hesma. Either of them is possible, Hesma or Wilson Crescent. When you're making a left turn there, the concept is pretty much like you making a left turn from McLeod to go into Alice Avenue. You don't have a right of way. You want to make sure the gap is good. If you make a turn on a bad gap, it could impact your road test. If you can't see clearly, make sure you can clear the two lanes of traffic before making the turn into Wilson. And we made a turn into Wilson, and in less than 100 meters, we made a left turn again to come into Wendy Crescent, uh, actually Wendy Drive, where we are now. And then we just completed an uphill parking with the curb. What happens next is you to drive, do your three-point turn in your parallel parking, and you are soon getting back to the test center. All right, let's go ahead and drive when safe. So we deactivate our foot brake or hand brake, depending on which one you have. Straighten your vehicle and change your gear into drive mode and signal to your left and do your blind spot check completely. And then when safe, you can proceed. So we are going straight. We do our blind spot check when safe, then we proceed. All right, we are in the neighborhood. Remember the speed limit is 40, but if it's a short distance, you don't need to speed. Now, look at this intersection here. The intersection here is uh, Wilson Crescent, continue on the right, and then we have Hesima on the left. On the previous route, we went right, and then we used Wilson Crescent to connect to Sutheran. But this time around, I'm gonna change it by going left. So let's go left. It is possible you could make a right or you could make a left. We are going left. It is safe, we check carefully. So we made a right turn. I'm using the right, the left turn here to connect back to McLeod. All right, let's make a right turn when safe. So we are currently on Hesimer and we are making a right turn. There is a stop sign, it's not an all way. The stopping position is the crosswalk. So creep forward to the crosswalk and stop before the crosswalk. Scan to your left, scan to your right. There's no pedestrian, so we creep forward. And then with a slight angle, because the curb is bending, we creep forward and double check. The gap is good, so we made a right turn into the immediate right lane. We are back on McLeod. The speed limit on McLeod is 50, but of course that is subject to the distance you have. If it's a short distance, you do not want to rush your speed fast. We are back to the traffic intersection where we have Pioneer and 7-Eleven. We are on McLeod. The street in front of us is Drummond Road. This left-hand side is where we came from to make a turn to go into our residence and then we return back to where we are. We are skipping parallel parking for this route so be sure to watch it if you haven't seen my video on parallel parking. For your road test, you definitely will do parallel parking. We're just skipping it so we can have a very quick road test. All right, please go to the test center when safe. When you're entering the test center, please do not speed as it is pretty bumpy. Take a left turn here, scan carefully, make sure it's clear, and then we make our left turn. And then please choose anywhere on the right hand side and park for purposes of your road test your examiner may take you all the way to where you parked at the beginning to go and park there but for purposes of practice we are going to make sure we don't interfere with those who are taking their road test this person is also trying to park since they're on the left hand side we're going to wait for them to complete theirs so we do not affect them It looks like they are doing reverse parking. So since they are going in reverse, we can do our blind spot check and then we can go and do our front parking. All right, we've parked successfully. Now we park our vehicle. And then we are done. Congratulations. You feel good, huh? Yes, nice, nice, nice. All right. So that's my friend there and she's doing really, really good. Thanks so much for watching Ruth Test Buddy. Be sure to practice and practice and practice and get used to the neighborhood. 
so that when you're taking your test, you look very, very relaxed. I wish you all the best with your road test. When you pass, be sure to come back here and drop me a comment and let me know how my video helped you. If you did enjoy my video and you like to see even more content from me, please consider subscribing so you don't miss anything. And activate the notification button as well so that you can receive all notifications from me when I post anything. All right, please consider liking and also dropping and sharing with your friends to help them. Thank you so much for watching Ruthless Buddy. Bye-bye and best of luck with your Ruthless. Bye-bye.